All right, President of the Senate, Ahmed Lawan, has attributed the successful conduct of the just concluded APC presidential primary election to the critical role played by President Muhammad Buhari in ensuring a level playing field for all aspirants. Now, he describes it as not only fair and just, but also fatherly. Now, speaking to NTA News after an audience with the President, Senator Lawan expressed absolute confidence in the ability of the governing party to retain power in 2023. Here is Tidas correspondent Adam Mosambo with the report again. Senate President Ahmed Lawan was in the State House to not only felicitate with the President on the celebration of Nigeria's June 12th Democracy Day, but also formally appreciate him for ensuring that the governing APC remains united, cohesive, and formidable before, during, and after the just concluded special convention. Senator Lawan, who was one of the frontline presidential aspirants, expressed the conviction that the president is genuinely committed and determined to lead the party to its third straight victory in a free, fair, and transparent elections next year. Every one of us uh, must thank him uh, for playing the fatherly ro role that he played. And I think uh, having silence uh, at the moment uh, from all quarters uh, is uh, to suggest, in my view, that all is well with the convention that we, we had. I want to make a promise on behalf of my party that APC and APC administration here at the national level and across all the states of the federation where we hold sway will always do things that will matter for the lives of the most ordinary Nigerians. I am a key participant in this administration. I know how much resources have been invested in the infrastructure development of Nigeria and how much resources have been invested in empowering our youth, our women. And, and, and so on and so forth. No administration did like this administration, and kudos to Mr. President and APC. He described as welcoming and reassuring steps taken so far by the APC presidential candidate Ashiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu to visit not only those that contested with him, but other key figures of the party in an effort to bring everyone on board ahead of the forthcoming general elections. And as a legislature, uh, we are fully committed to ensuring that um, whatever it's, it takes uh, from our side to support the administration uh, will do so. Time is of essence. Uh, while politics is already here, uh, we must not uh, take off our eyes on the ball because in, in, in administration because that will affect our performance and it's important even for our party that we have some of these major projects completed because these are supposed to be part of uh, our campaign uh, issues that we have been able to do things that other administrations, previous administrations have not been able to do. Let me say that the last three years have been extremely successful as far as we are concerned, very productive. We passed several very key, essential and critical and crucial bills uh, in support of our economy, in support of our security, uh, in support of the administration in order to, to render services in all spheres of our life. And going forward, the last one year that we have from today will be full of actions. We still have to rework uh, some of our uh, elect, uh, legislative uh, agenda in, in, in the National Assembly, in the two chambers. The legislative agendas are almost exhausted, so we need to introduce more because the major legislative intervention that were required were concluded in the last three years. The Senate President gave a hint that the National Assembly might take a second look at the Electoral Act Amendment Bill signed by the President because, in his words, few things appear not totally right. From the State House, Adamusambu, NTA News.